Wow, the back of my house looks very different. Look at my poor light. It's just <laughs> it's dangling. Security cameras dangling. Look at that. Oh. And here's my pile of stuff. There's a big ass ladder. But yeah. That's how much they've removed so far. They've gone to lunch, so. Yikes. God, that looks crazy. I was driving along and I saw this poor dog. Somebody just left him out here. Look, he's sitting waiting for his owner to come back. Hey, puppy. Hey, don't worry, honey. They'll be back for you. I may come back and check on him. He looks sad. It's okay, sweetie. Hey, it's Wednesday night. I got Subway. These are two uh, meatball subs. They're both for my older son. I took a bite out of that one. <laughs> He's in the shower. And normally, I wait until he comes down here so he'll see me taking a bite of his sub. And he, <laughs> he gets mad. Well, I thought he was on his way down, but it turns out he's in the shower. <laughs> so I said, well, it's no fun eating his sub if he's not here to yell at me. So <laughs> I wrapped it back up so when he opens it, it's going to have a bite out of it. <laughs> I never get a sub for myself because, honestly, I'm not crazy about Subway. But I always have to take a bite out of his so he'll get mad at me. And I found an actual Tupperware container at Goodwill for like three bucks. Look at that. It's a 12 inch big old container. It's like brand new. I think I paid three dollars for it. So anyway, <laughs> you won't see this till later because I have no freaking internet, but I figured I'd go ahead and show. <laughs> yeah, I took a bite out of that one. They're both the same. I took a bite out of just, just that one. He's going to find out in a minute. I want to take a look out here and let's see what we have. Now, I have no internet, but I do have a horrendous mess. Look at this. Now, be careful because there are nails out here. I got my shoes on, so that's okay. I'm looking. I'm looking. Lord, and see, the bad thing is... Hey, Boop! Boop! Hey! What you doing? Watch out, kitty. She's all right. So... Okay, so they didn't want to come Tuesday because they said it was supposed to rain. Or no, that yeah, they didn't want to come because it was supposed to rain. Well, it's supposed to rain tonight and tomorrow. And this is what the back of my house looks like right now. Yeah, there's the uh, cord that got cut. And there's the box. Yeah, it's jacked up. Look at this beautiful mess. There's my log under there that they chucked initially. Isn't it pretty? Look. What have we got back here? Nails. Look at my grass. Oh, my God. Ooh, it's on my grass, y'all. I'm going to cry. I'm going to come out here with a bucket or a bag or something and get some. I'm going to get as much. I can't get that up because it's heavy, but I'm going to get as much off, these, off the grass as I can. Speaking of cans, we have a twist up. It's a generic Sprite. Just... Daggum it. Oh, this irritates me. Boop. This sucks. Anyway. Yeah, there's my box. And somewhere, somewhere, it's cut or damaged or something. And I have no internet now. Which means I can't do my day job. And I can't upload videos. So... Yeah, the computer I work on for my day job, it's a secured, I have to use a desktop and it's its a whole deal, like it's super secure. I don't use it for anything else and I can't exactly move it. So, if I have no internet here, I can't do shit with it. So, bleh. So that's, whew, so that's what I'm dealing with. Um, but look how pretty the grass looks back here. Yes, I, I love my, I love my grass. It's, it's, it makes me very happy. I like my, my pretty green grass. Look at this cat. Look at the boop. Where are you trying to go? Where are you going? You can't get up there. 
She loves to be up. She just wants to be up. Evie's happy just looking at it from there. She doesn't really care, but Boop is very adventurous. I think she's trying to figure out how to get on the window sill. I don't think you can, Cat. So, yeah, this is going to get rained on tonight. That's going to get rained on overnight and tomorrow because it's supposed to rain tomorrow. 70% chance of thunderstorms tomorrow all day. So, it's beautiful. So, I don't know what's going to happen, but the whole pallet of stuff in my driveway has already been rained on three or four times. It's about to get rained on again, and it's actually dripping. It's drizzling a little bit right now. So, I guess we'll see what happens. Anyway, this is Wednesday evening, so we'll see what's going to happen. I'm going to keep making videos. I just can't upload them, and as soon as I get the internet issue fixed, I will just upload what I've got. So, you'll still get a video for every day. You just won't get it on that day. You may get two or three videos in one day. I don't know. But anyway, the neighbor kids are killing each other. They're killing each other down there. And I'm going back in to find something to eat other than that sub. So, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again soon. Hey, um, I am recording this on Thursday, April 7th or something. It's like I'm getting ready to say if my body is found, no, that's not like that. I am so sad. I, I, I just, I feel like I lost my best friend and you know why? Because I realize I am addicted to the internet and then when you take it away from me, I just become sad. I'm sad. I feel like I lost my best friend in a senseless accident. My friend was cut in half, and now I don't have a friend anymore. So anyway, I'm, I actually thought about going somewhere and just finding a place with internet access and just uploading this there. I don't really want to do it with the videos from my other channel because they're really long and the file size is enormous and I'd be there all day. And I need to stay close to the house because... What if they get a chance to come out and they say, you know, well, we, we only have, we have this small, small window. We, on, we only have, you know, 30 minutes to come to your house. Can we come right now? Well, I don't want to be too far away from home. Originally, I had planned to go to Ashboro today. There's this big antique mall down there, and I was going to make a video in the antique mall because we haven't been there in forever, and I thought that would be fun. But the antique mall is like 30 some minutes away from my house and I don't want to get that far away and then have them call, hey, we're on the way to your house right now. Are you, are you are you're home, right? Like, so my situation is right now, literally, I, I can make no money. I can, I can do nothing right now because my day job I can't do without internet. And the thing is, I have to use this dedicated desktop computer for work and it has all kinds of security shit on it. And it's very delicate. I mean, even when you don't mess with it, sometimes it just it just won't work just because it's having a little hissy fit. Like, you know, if, if it's a little windy outside somewhere between here and Atlanta, it may decide that it just doesn't want to work that day. And I'm on the phone with the IT people all morning. So I'm not trying to move that desktop computer and my two big ass monitors that I use with it. I'm not trying to move that to a place with the internet. That's what they suggested I do yesterday. The the guy that, the the boss of the contract company is like, well, can't you just go somewhere with internet? I said, I am somewhere with internet. Y'all are the reason it doesn't work. Y'all cut my damn cable. So I'm at a place with internet, but I don't have internet because of you. I'm not picking up and, I'm not trying to pick up and move that computer. I'm just not. The thing, it will just shut down and just say, no, no. You moved me. It is such a prima donna. Like, I can't stand this computer. But that's what I have to work with. Um, but, I mean, I, could, uh, I, I made a video last night for my other channel. I did. I made a video reviewing a chocolate catalog. And it was actually a lot of fun. I decided I wanted to do a video on chocolate. Like, you know, these companies that sell chocolate. And so, I requested several catalogs. And I've only gotten one so far. Um, so I did the one I got. I've requested three or four, and I've only gotten one. So maybe the others will come along. 
So I made the video, I just can't upload it. But it's like 30 minutes long. And I don't want to try to go to a, a place with internet. Can you imagine how slow it would be? My God. So I don't, I don't know what to do. So I, they, the, uh, okay. North state is, I have fiber optic internet and North state communication is communications is the company that does it. And they said they're really backed up right now because they have a staff shortage. They don't have a lot of texts right now. So they're, you know, they're saying like 72 hours is the typical turnaround time to get somebody to come to your house because they just don't have many people doing it. But they said they would try to expedite it. They would do the best they could to get out there as soon as possible, but don't count on it. <sighs> Fuck, I swear. I... And I have a pile of stuff in my backyard. All the masonite is sitting in my backyard. They're supposed to be back at the house at 9 o'clock this morning, which means they'll probably be back because I think it's about 9 o'clock now. I had to run out to the store. I'm just depressed. I'm just depressed. I'm just like, uh. Although I did watch a movie last night. I did. I, I, I We don't have cable at the house. I don't have cable. I haven't had cable in years, and I don't miss it. It's so funny because when I, I tell people I don't have I don't have any cable at all, nothing, basic. I don't have any of that. And I tell people that in their shock, like, you don't have cable? What? And I, yeah, I don't. And it's always funny because the conversation always ends the same way. They go, well, you're not missing anything anyway. I'm like, well, why the hell are you paying for it? If I'm, if you're not, if it's not that great, why are you paying for it? That's why I quit paying for it years ago. Because I thought, I don't really ever watch it. And there's never anything on I want to watch. Why am I paying for this? So I just, I just didn't mess with it anymore. I just cut, I cut the cord probably. Well, honestly, let's see. Glenda the Good Witch had cable for a bit. I don't. I think he still does. I don't know. I had it when I lived with him because he wanted it. And before that, the last time I had it was when I lived in an apartment in 1997. I think that was the last time I, I voluntarily like paid for it and had it. I don't miss it. I don't feel like I've missed a damn thing. So I don't have cable. I can't watch anything that way. Um, and so I, I watched Pretty Woman last night. I have a, a DVD collection. And I, I something there was something that reminded me of a scene in that movie the other day. And I thought, I should watch that again. So I took advantage of the opportunity and I watched uh, Pretty Woman last night. It's such a charming movie. And I don't really like romantic comedies typically. But that one just has a special place in my heart for some reason. I just, I love that movie. I still know every word of that movie. I know every scene. I know every word, everything in that movie. Because when it, I first got it on VHS in 1992, and at that time, I didn't have a lot to watch, so I watched that movie over and over and over, because it was one of the only VHS tapes I had, so I probably watched it 200 times. I mean, it just so many times. So, it was kind of nice to get to watch that, so I did that, and I made a video, and yeah, my kids are just as depressed as I am. They're like, Mom... I said, I'm sorry. So, I mean, I can't speed it up. I can't wave a magic wand and make it all better. I wish I could, but I can't. So, I don't know. I don't know. That's all I know to tell them because my kids are like, so they're coming today, right? I said, I don't know. But, but they're coming today. I don't know. They might. They might not. It might be. It might be tomorrow. It might not even be tomorrow. But, yeah, I can't do a damn thing about it. I can't speed this up. I wish I could. I wish I could do that. But I can't. So I have no freaking internet. I am so, I am angry. I'm depressed. Because, you know, in this day and age, that's how, you know, a lot of people work from home. And it's like, I can't work. And I'm a contract employee, which means I'm making zero dollars an hour. And my work is backing up. I was, I was right in the middle of getting stuff done. I had a bunch of stuff left over yesterday that I didn't get to do. I'll have a whole another day of it today that I won't get to. And, the, and it's funny because the contract people are like, well, you know, these things happen and basically like tough shit. This guy promised me when I told him I was upset because I was told by the company they don't hire to contract employees. They have their own employees that install this stuff. And that's one of the reasons I decided to work with them. So I talked to the boss of this construction company. 
And he said, I promise you, I promise you, you are not going to regret having us do this. This is going to be the best experience for you. You will not regret it. Please just take a chance on us. Let us come out and show you what we can do. Well, damn it, I've seen what you can do. My backyard is full of crap. I have trash all in my grass. And now I have no internet, so I can't work. Yeah, it's been a great experience so far. <sighs> I, I, I like being able to make progress. I like being able to make forward progress. And now I'm just, I'm like stuck. Like, what do I do now? I'm just going to have to go hang out at the house and listen to them hammering and banging and sawing all day again. Only now I can't even get any work done. I am indescribably upset. Like, I'm losing money. I am losing... My, my income is just gone at the moment. I have none. And these people are just like, well, you know, that's life. That's just how things go sometimes. Eh. Like, yeah, you can still work and make money. Of course you can say that. Bitches, I swear. I, mm, I wish I had some good news for you. I really don't. I have no good news. Everything sucks. And I'm going to have to go find somewhere to upload this. And it just... But I can't go too far from the house. Because <laughs> they might... They, I promise you, if I try to go somewhere, I will get a call as soon as I get as far away from the house as possible. Yeah, we're on our way to your house right now. You're home, right? No. I, I'm so glad that after this project, I'm done with home shit. Home improvement, I'm done. I'm so done. And I got a, I got a communication from the guys at Window World of the Triad. Yeah, I'm still waiting to finish that project that I started last August. Getting a new door and door frame and storm door. Yeah, yeah. That's not over. I contacted, I sent him an email yesterday like, what's up? You know, I've been waiting Three months ago, they ordered some front facings or something for my house. My, was it? Well, it's been at least two months. And he goes, oh, I'm so glad you emailed me. I just found out they're coming in tomorrow. I'm like, what a coincidence. Every time I email you or contact you, it's like, oh, I just found out that's coming right in. I'm so glad you contacted me. No, you're sitting there doing nothing. And the only reason you said that is because I keep bothering you. So, yeah, it's been since last August. It's now April. That project's not over either. So. And I still have the siding on the sides of the house that's going to have to be done. I wonder what tragedies will happen then. Maybe my maybe the chimney will just fall off my house and that will somehow be my fault. It was like that when we got here, ma'am. Your chimney was on the ground when we arrived. I don't know how you think that's our fault. Yeah, nothing's anybody's fault. And nobody does anything... Nobody, nobody's responsible for anything. And I, I wish I could be more cheerful for you. I know it bothers some people if I'm not cheerful and I'm not smiling and happy, but I'm not a Stepford wife and I'm not a robot and that's not the way the world works. So I'm making videos for my other channel. I have one ready to go. I just can't upload it. And I guess I'm just going to have to keep making them. And as soon as I get the opportunity to upload them, I guess I will. In the meantime, I don't know. I don't know what else to do. I really don't. So I'm going to have to figure something out. I mean, if this, I, I, this is not sustainable. I got to figure out an answer to this. Like if they're not going to be able to come fix it, I got to find some way to fix this. Anyway, I hope you have a good day. I really hope that your day is awesome and that things are not shitty for you. I really, I hope, I hope that that's the case for you and I'm going home now because I don't know what else to do. So, I'll see you again soon, I hope. Bye. Okay, so it's still Thursday. The guys got here an hour late. And now, since it's gonna rain, which the damn rain has been in the forecast all week, they act like they just found out this morning it was gonna rain, like you think. So now, they're not gonna put up any siding today. They're not gonna do anything today other than put up a tarp. So I'm already depressed. I'm already, like, just sad. I just feel so incredibly sad. So, you know what helps with that? Is when somebody covers, like, all your back light sources with a tarp. So, now, 
you don't even have any daylight except whatever you can get right here. I'm in a glass cage of emotion. So when are they coming back? Maybe tomorrow? Uh, we don't know yet. We don't know. Everything's just up in the air. Just, no, don't, I don't know. I don't know. So yes, yes, I have, I have, uh, thank you. I have light here at least. I'm trying to look at the bright side. Literally, I'm looking at the bright side because I have light over there. Nothing back here. I have a lovely view of a giant tarp. Right there. And over here. And then there. And then there. I hate this. I hate this so much. So, yeah, I don't have any internet. I'm going to try to call North State Communications again to see if they have any idea when somebody might be able to come out. Um, I can't do anything. So, anyway, I'm getting ready to sweep and mop and vacuum and just do some housework. Because at least then I'll feel like I'm getting something done. And on the bright side, they won't be hammering and sawing and shit today, so... There won't be that noise, but I can't work. I can't do my day job at all. But fortunately, I talked to Glenda the Good Witch about it, and he volunteered. He said, come over to my house and upload whatever you need to for YouTube. I can at least help you with that. So I may go over there and upload the chocolate video and this stuff too. So that's cool. That was really nice of him to say that. And he has fiber optic, so it's just as fast as mine, which is awesome. So, I might do that this evening. I have a class to go to later, but maybe after class I'll go over there and do that. So, anyway, yeah, no, no work is getting done today. Nothing's going to happen today other than putting up a tarp. So that's all I know. Anyway, I'm going to go sweep and mop, I guess. Hey, it's uh, still Thursday. Guess where I am? I'm not at my house. I'm at Glenda the Good Witch's house. Because he, I told him what was going on, and he said, why don't you just go to my house, and you can at least use my Wi-Fi to upload your YouTube videos. I mean, you can at least do that. I said, thank you so much. So I came over here, and it's just me here. And uh, I was all excited. I got in here and it's raining, so I had to write, like hurry and get my laptop in here and get it all set up, you know, and get it ready to upload the video I made last night. Guess what? <laughs> the power's out. The fucking power's out. <laughs> His power's out. Yeah, a transformer apparently blew at some point this morning and uh, he has no power, which means he has no internet. Okay, obviously the universe is trying to tell me something. Okay, I don't know what it's trying to tell me, but I am too dense to pick up on it. So yeah, I came all the way over here thinking, thank God, I can at least, I can at least upload a video for my other channel and upload these little video clips I keep making. I can at least do that. I mean, it's better than nothing. So I get over here, I'm all excited, like, yes, I can come over here. I got the, the Wi-Fi password and everything. And I turn my computer on and I'm looking at it I'm like, where's the, where's the Wi-Fi? Where, where? I don't see it. I don't see it. So I texted him. I said, I, I don't see your internet on here anywhere. And I didn't try to turn any lights on because it's like perfectly fine in here. I don't need lights on. It's bright enough. And he said, is the power out? I said, why would the power be out? He said, well, there was a transformer blue. I'm like, are you serious? So I flipped the switches and nothing happened. I said, yeah, your power's out. He said, yeah, yeah, that's probably why the internet's not working. So, it just gets better and better and better. And I called uh, North State. I called them, and I was put on hold for about 20 minutes. And I just put in my earbuds so I could hear the hold music. I was vacuuming downstairs. I got everything vacuumed. I got most of the dusting done before they called, they answered. 
and um, they checked the status. I said, I'm just checking on the status of, you know, just to see if you have any idea when somebody's going to get out here to look at my internet. And the lady goes, yeah, I see here where it was sent to dispatch, but I can't give you any sort of estimate as to how long it's going to be. She said it could be today, it could be tomorrow, it could be this weekend. I really, I don't know. I, I can't give you an estimate. Um, I can just tell you that they're seriously backed up and we're telling everybody 72 hour turnaround time. So you called it in yesterday afternoon. So it could be, you know, it could be this weekend before they get to it. So yeah, I've got to figure out something fortunate. Thank God. Thank God for Glenda the Good Witch. Bless his heart. The power's out, but it's not going to be out forever. And he told me I could come back and do it later. He said, don't worry about it. Just, just do it later. I heard, I heard something. <laughs> I feel weird. I'm in somebody else's house. But uh, anyway, I guess I'm going to... I'll take. I'll just put my laptop back in the car, I guess, and come back and try again later. I don't know how long the power is going to be out. So... But yeah, I, I I almost got excited there for a moment. I had I I made the mistake of having hope of having hope that thinking something would happen and and that I could actually, you know, do something. But no, no. The the guys came back. The the siding people showed up. They were going to be there at nine. They got there after ten, and told me they're not going to be doing any work. Yeah, I already made a video about that. They're not going to be doing any work, and they've had now have a giant tarp up over the back of my house. I don't know when they're coming back. Everything is just on hold. Everything is just like, well, you just got to wait. You just got to wait. We don't know how long. You just got to wait. That's not a problem, is it? Nah, it's not a problem. I just literally can't work or, you know, do much of anything in the meantime. So, nah, no problem. Take your sweet ass time. It's not like I need it or anything. So, yeah, power's out. Power's out. There's internet, but not when the power's out. Okay, I guess I'm going to pack everything back up, put it back in the car, and go back home and finish cleaning up the downstairs part of my house because I can't do much of anything else. So, thank you again for being here. I'll get these uploaded one of these days, and I will see you again soon. Okay, I, I just have to add one more thing. I just checked the power outage map. Here's the crazy part. Literally, the only people who have no power are Glenda the Good Witch and his next door neighbor. Literally nobody else is out of power. Just these two houses. Just these two. I've never seen that before. You know, with a power outage map, usually if the power goes out where I live, which happens a lot for some reason, it's like this huge area and it covers like a whole bunch of, you know, like a big, no, it's literally just this house and that house. That's it. They have a grand total of six people out of power. I, I've never seen that in my life. It, it It is almost like there has been some sort of divine intervention, and I don't know what it is, but somebody does not want me to have internet. Well, I, I tell you, like I told you, I'm sad. I've learned that I, I'm hooked on it, and when I don't have it, I'm like a junkie. I'm just itching all over. I'm not literally itching all over, but like I'm just jonesing for it. Like I, I can't watch my stuff. You know, I, there are things I like, you know, YouTubers I like to watch every day, and, and, all, and I can't do it, and I'm just, because... I do have data on my phone, but I have like a cheap plan. Like I don't have a whole lot of data because we don't really use it that much because we always use just the Wi-Fi and I don't feel like paying for a whole lot of data that never gets used. So I, I don't have a lot of data on my phone because I just normally don't need it and I didn't see the point in paying for it. So shit, I can't, you know, I can't sit here and watch that because I don't want to gobble up all my data because I just, I'm not, I'm not going to pay for more because nor, under normal circumstances, I don't need it. But damn, it's just this house and that house. Have you ever heard of any such a thing? Okay, yeah, that's 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 enough for me to just sit here and say, okay, somebody doesn't want me to do this. And I, I'm not like a religious person, but I'm sitting here like, this is just freaking weird. So, I don't know, it's freaking me out. So, it's just this house and that house. I zoomed in on the map. Like, it is just these, how? It is just these two houses right here. I've, I've never seen anything like that. So it was the weirdest thing, and I just had to tell you about it. Damn, it's crazy. All right, I'm going to pack my stuff up and go for real now. <laughs>